guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aoife and today we are working on this armchair. Sorry, I have to let the dog go. First I tried painting it. I mean, that didn't really work out well. And so now instead of binning it, we're going to reupholster it, but the lazy way. I don't own a sewing machine. I'm not willing to tear all this out and remake the whole thing. So I'm just going to stick on top of it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first, this armchair was in need of a desperate cleaning. So I first went in with the Hoover and then with the spot cleaner and gave it a really deep clean. After the cleaning, I painted it and this is how it kind of turned out. Let's not talk about it, let's just move on. So I just want to point out, I've never actually done this before. We're just kind of winging it as we go. There's no funner way. We bought some cushion lining. This is a great method for anyone that doesn't have a sewing machine, I think. And that'll be our first piece. Make sure to mark each piece so that you don't get confused on which piece goes where. Okay, so for this part, I'm gonna have it come from here and then just to the back a little bit. So it'll come over here. That's the plan. So for the arm, I'm going to do this part and bring it down so it dips in here. So I might as well just go the whole way to there. So we'll break it here and then I'll do a separate piece for here. And we're gonna cut two of those, one for each side. This side is a little more complicated so I think what I'll do is wrap this part first and then I'll have to make an extra piece for here. I think that's my best option. Okay, now that we've got all of the lining on, we're going to go ahead with the fabric in a moment. But first I need to cut away these areas here and up here. And then just tidy everything up and we'll be ready to go. So before you put the lining onto the sofa, it would be very wise to use that as a template for cutting your fabric. I didn't do that though, and I had to go back in and measure everything to cut my fabric. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face. So for this armchair we got about 6 meters of material and I think we went with 3 meters of lining. And they say if you want a glimpse the future you need space. And you said you put down your morning gun. Would you follow me to wonders? Take my hand and walk the dye of the fabric is literally coming onto my clothes. Can you see that? I don't know what to do when someone sits on the sofa. Any suggestions? I did want to wash it, but I'm too afraid that if I wash this material, it might not come out looking great. So I'm taking a risk. So I don't really have much of a structure on how I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to kind of apply and fix as we go. So to begin, we have the seat part. I made sure to give extra extra fabric for this part and this part so that you can tuck it in all the way down. I will try and staple down the sides here if I can, but probably won't happen. There is some wood though, so if I can, but I doubt I can get this anywhere. We'll try, we'll see. 
The staple gun requires a lot more hand strength than I actually thought it would need. And so Leon came along to teach me the ropes. I just tucked these fabric pieces into the sides and I took them right into the very back as far as they would go. And honestly, this has been working out fine for us. I did make sure the pieces were long enough that I could tuck them in well, because if they're not tucked in well, then they will come up again on you. And if this is the case, you could use some hemming tape to just help hold it down. So here there doesn't seem to be any wood. So I don't know if this will stick in, let's try <laughs> find out. Okay. Might not last too long, but... Oh no, they're all coming out now. Mm. Okay, maybe I'll just try and stick to the wood. I'll have to staple where the wood is. These parts of the arm were the hardest part of the entire project. <laughs> they took me a lot of time. Actually, they took me the most time out of everything I had to do. I don't really have any tips or tricks for working with this piece. What I just recommend is making sure you leave enough fabric to play around with and then just play around with it until you find what works best for you. Make sure to pull your fabric fairly tight before you staple it in just to get a nice clean finish. We want as little pleats and as little creases as possible. <laughs> Here's Leon coming to check on my work. If you have a part where two pieces of fabric meet, like this one, you can fold it over like this to make the edge look more clean and finished. Okay, so in the process of trying to figure out how to do these arms, so basically I'm trying to get as little amount of pleats as possible. I've decided to cut right across, and then I'm going to work on just this piece, and then I'm going to attach this piece, but I'm going to turn this piece into a pocket. Let's hope it works out! Okay. Let's start. Oh, I get nervous when I come up with ideas like this. Now we'll take the piece of fabric that we cut off and we're going to attach it. And then we're going to fold this side so that it has a nice little area there. And then you can stick things like the remote control and stuff in. So what we're going to do is spray. Again, I would kind of advise using hemming tape here if you have it. And then I'll do two staples that won't be really secure staples, but they'll be there. And then it will be a pocket. It won't be a very functional pocket. You could probably stick a remote control in it. Um, but not a lot else, I don't think. For the front of the arms, I made three pleats at the top. and then I stapled all around it. I then pinned some fabric on and cut around it to start getting the shape that I wanted. Once that was finished, I used it as a template to make the second one so that both of them could be the same.
And then I used my trusty old friend hemming tape to <laughs> tape everything in place. To use the tape it's so simple. Just peel it away, stick it under the fabric and then iron on top of the fabric. And then it's glued on perfectly. Next I made my own trim. You can go out and buy some nice fancy trim but I wanted mine to be exactly the same colour so I just made it myself. I cut some strips and then I folded it over with some tape holding it in place. And then I hot glued it around all the edges that I needed. I did this on the back as well. Lastly all I had to do was replace the legs with our new IKEA legs and then I also hoovered out the inside and put on a new dust cover. And then we were finished! I hope you enjoyed these results, I am in love with this! Thank you guys for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one where we are redecorating my entire living room so stay tuned for that one. <laughs>